Hello Marvel fans, this is uh, Roberto here doing an unboxing, this time of the Marvel Select Cable. And this dude is pretty huge, not as big as some of like the super-sized Marvel Selects, but uh, big enough because Cable's a pretty big guy, so um, I only pick up, you know, Selects every now and again, but this dude looks great. He comes packed with lots of weapons. Um, on the side you got a piece of uh, uh, art that looks like it's from Oliver Copiel. Um could, it could be one of the other guys, though. Um, on the back, you got the uh, just a, a pick of them, a short little bio on the side, and a couple other figures in the wave. Looks like uh, it was the the zombie Magneto and the Spider Man. I don't know how how they pick what figures are going on there. I assume it's the wave, like Marvel Legends. But anyway, let's get this guy out of the box and uh, see what's in here. He's got he's got a lot. He selects. I don't pick up all of them, it's not like uh, they don't get you the same way the uh, Marvel Legends do with the um, build-in figures and whatnot, but they always are deluxe figures and you always get a hunk of plastic, so that's pretty cool. Um, I pick and choose these a little bit more, um, but if I, find, if I spot one that looks like he'll shelf pretty good along with my Legends, I, uh, I won't hesitate. And this is, uh, that's just the man, well, not the manual, the uh, uh, mail away stuff. This is a hunk of plastic, what looks like a stand. That's pretty cool, looks like it's got Strife, uh, Strife's helmet and cape and some rubble for him to stand on. So, yeah, the selects are, they're always a, they're always a good idea if, you, if it's a character you like. Um, let's see what is in here. Comes with a few, oh. My favorite twist ties, never mind. Anyways, let's see if I can get through these. But this looks like the uh, the original 80s, late 80s, early 90s Rob Liefeld rendition of uh, Cable when he first showed up in the New Mutants. Anyway, he comes with a huge hunker of a gun. Um, which was basically what he was known for. He's so 90s it hurts. He always just had more guns than he needed. And uh, big shoulder pads. If I can get some of this out, you might be able to see it. But the bane of my existence every time is twist ties. But anyways, Cable is definitely in my top five favorite X-Men. Um, that list always shifts though, but he has definitely been near the top for a very long time. I love them. That's my uh, that's my heyday of really enjoying the X Men early '90s when uh, the cartoon was on, and basically the comics. I was getting, I was collecting everything. Comics were hitting about to burst with uh, going down. The art was pretty good for its time. The stories were okay, not as good as like the the '80s Claremont stuff, but. Pretty, pretty exciting at the time. Let's see if we can, if we can get this up. All right. So, look at this massive figure. I'm trying to get these guns out. Oh, they did me a solid by twist tying one of these guns. But anyways, um, look at the, look at the sculpt on his his torso with the all all those shoulder pads and uh, web gear grenades and see he had grenades and what's he got he's got his metal arm because he's missing an arm from the techno organic virus that's what he came from the future he's a time traveler um man i'm gonna fight with this thing for another five minutes probably it's the last twist tie it's doing me justice anyways um Check out the back of the figure. Oh man, he's got a what looks like a huge Bowie knife back here. That's pretty cool. Just hidden hidden accessories. I don't know what this shoulder piece is for. It's probably where you mount his gun or something. But he comes with two dual pistols. Those are pretty cool. And uh, comes with a holster for a gun. Oh, we got a little gun in here already. Oh, cool. And he comes with what looks like a little mini holster. So that's pretty cool. So you could probably just slot the big guns in this 
both in these holsters if you want. Uh, it's got some hard plastic going on here. No, yeah, but it'll fit. Let's see. The one thing I've early on those uh, Marvel Selects weren't as good as the the in articulation as the Marvel Legends, but they're getting better. And especially with these big hunky figures, like these hunks of plastic. Oh man, that just popped right out. But eh, I don't think it was supposed to come out, but it looks like it slots pretty easy. Maybe a little glue will fix that, no problem. Or I just pop it back in. This guy's pretty stiff. Pretty sure he's not going to go anywhere. Um, but these guns all fit pretty nicely. I see. Probably can do something along with that shoulder pad thing there to, for aiming. But cable's awesome. I can't wait to put him next to the Jim Lee uh, Cyclops, who is his father. Spoiler alert. Um, and uh, the rest of the X-Men that I got, I'm totally putting them in a in a Marvel Legends display. But anyway, this dude was a treat for me. Um, I love the character. My name uh, is Roberto. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, tell me what you think of this character. If you if you pick up selects only, or if you get both these in Legends, or what you like. Um, anyways, let me know if you got this figure. I, I dig them. I like them better than the Marvel Legends version. I haven't picked that one up. But uh, this looks like the cable I know and love. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. See you next time.